Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Oblivion with myself, Waze, and Jonsson the Crow and Fergus. Now, we are all dressed up in our, our sneaky gear because, because we have been given the quest of trying to get this log from Brent Varro's knight, Brent Varro's knights. And it's in the castle barracks. The problem with that is there's a kill on site order that the castle guards have. Castle barracks is in the wealthy section. So are the castle guards. And yeah, that leaves us with a bit of a predicament. So um, we don't know if it's just the guards. We don't know if it's everyone in, in the, the wealthy section. So going through the gates isn't the best idea. Now, one thing. I was standing here thinking and changing clothes is the obvious way to get in is through the sewers. It seems <laughs> it seems like sewers are a prominent part of many of my let's plays. But anyway, but there was this down here, which we saw before. We haven't been down there. We don't know what it is. We didn't want to unlock it before because we didn't know what we might let in. But now we're thinking... Yes, Fergus. We should probably try this out. If, if I can unlock it, that is. So let's see. Lock is too difficult. Maybe I have better tools. No, we're not going in that way. Right, Fergus. All that drama over nothing. So I was hoping we might be able to do it. Unless, of course, unless, of course, we have some kind of potion of lock picking. That might help. Maybe go and see Tubby up if we don't have one. I type us none of those. Um, these two strong potions of invisibility are going to come in handy, I think. I'm also thinking, not sure how much of a good idea this is. I'm also thinking about leaving, um, leaving Fergus behind for this particular mission. I just need to get in and get out, Fergus. It's going to be much easier if there's only, only me. So let's go and see Tubby up. Um, I don't really want to leave you here. That would be a bit. Let's leave you in the, the thirsty peasant. Right. Let's see Tubby up first. Should we check uh, Adelia's pawn shop just in case? Oh no, it's locked. Oh. Right, Tubby's treatments. Let's see, Tubby. Good day. Good day to you too. Um, can I have a look at have your look wares? Around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Okay, healing, respite, sorcery, uh, light luck. Not lock. Um, no, not looking good. No, and just on the off chance you've restocked your invisibility. I doubt it, but no, nope. Okay, nothing there. Thanks, Tabia. For once, Be you don't. You. you don't have exactly what I need. So, Fergus, let's um, drop you off How here. Good, Serethi, good. Well, I think. Good now, because I'm alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, Fergus. I'd be happy to talk, friend. Yes. Um, if I come out of this alive, I'm happy to talk plenty with you. For now, just... Can I get him to relax? Please, go on. Um... Relax around here for a while. Fine. I'll be around here and rest for a while. Good idea. Now, don't drink too much and uh, don't get into trouble. And don't talk to any women. Hello there. Right. We need to find a sewer exit. I don't even want to walk into the, the merchant section. I'm all, I'm all paranoid and flustered now. Not sure if there are any sewer... Oh, there we go handy right let's uh let's go and do this i'm actually quite nervous 
heading off without Fergus. Very nervous, actually. I'm almost tempted to go back and get him. <laughs> okay. Now, let's have a look. We made some notes on our map before. So, let's have a, a look on uh, local map. Let's see. Windfall slums in your basement jail jail cells. We want the barracks. It would be handy if um Yeah, we're not going in there. Um Abandoned House. Abandoned house basement. That's not the house we were in the slums, is it? Chilninos, Windfall, Righteous Hall. Okay, jail cells. This is all the slums area. So I think we need to take a right and then a right again to the end and head through to the next section. That's that's my thinking. Now, let's keep it quiet, even though we're sneaking with the torch. Damn. Sounds a bit busy behind there as well. All right, maybe we can go down this way. I don't like those noises. What's the matter? Get it. Do your worst. This ends oh, fire. there's a lot of activity behind that. It sounds a bit rough. Whoa! Run, 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 run. Look who we've got here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. <laughs> right. I'm not sure. <laughs> leaving um leaving your, uh, Fergus behind was such a good idea. Right, I need some some healing uh potions desperately. What am I doing? Um Right. Let's take that. And we've got a few. Is that the only ones I've got? Any weak potions of healing? Yeah, okay. This is what I want. Um, I'm not sure how many I need to take. Right, just... That's locked. Right. No, you don't want the lockpick. Come on, Yodston. You gotta take him out. Get out of here. Who the hell? Right. Quick look at the old potions again. And right um do i have heals healing on a i don't think i have a potion of healing on my hotkeys this ends here. I've no more i don't all right we've got one down that's that's positive where are those there we go okay Can... What's she? Come on, fire your spells, use your magic. Come on, come up here then, if you want some. I'm not coming down to you. And there's a big undead thing down there. Oh. Ow, she hit me, she hit me, she hit me. Da -da. Okay. Take her out. Oh, so close. Lady of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving Fergus behind. 
might not have been the best idea. Right. Maybe a torch isn't a good idea, but it's pitch black. My sneak is, um, because with all this gear on, because I've got the amulet, I've got this, all this gear on as well. It's up to 43. It's still 43, still not great. But it is improved. Now put the lockpick away. If we can sneak around, stay in the dark. I think that's our best choice. I can see nothing. We're going to have to see if, uh, how many potions of night eye do I have? I've got a few. Okay. This doesn't go anywhere. Are all these locked? Yeah, I can't open any of these gates. Oh dear. Right, right. That's okay, I'm back where I was before. Difference now. Okay, there's someone or something. And I think I'm in full view. Can I get a sneak attack in on anyone? I'm just running around in the dark now. No, this. Where's this gate? No. It won't let me open it. Yeah. Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh. Okay. I think we need to, uh, let's see, what can we buff? What can we buff? Right, we want to resist fire. We want a... A shield and restore fatigue. Um, I've also got these potions of paralysis as well. I might have to try one of those. Um... I'll get one of those ready in a minute. Meanwhile, do I have any strength potions or anything like that? I don't want to waste an invisibility. Uh, potion of reflection could be useful. It's only a weak one, but we got to start using these. And let's take a potion of agility as well. Right. Okay. Come back here, you little coward. Fire your spells and run away. Come on. That's it. You hold the torch so I can see. Oh, so you're just leading me into a, a trap. <laughs> okay, that was clever. <laughs> this is... This is going to be a problem. <laughs> right. Okay, we are back. Oh, God. I was about to come up with a different plan. I'm thinking, go down here. Although, is that above? Can I go down the steps and take a left? If I can, I was thinking, go down there and around. 
and try and get out this way. Yeah. The abandoned house. That's that is in, in this. Oh, okay, that must be the the one that I couldn't open. And that would take me straight to there if I could have opened it. Hang on, that's up the stairs. So maybe it wouldn't. Yeah, it would take me down there, around here, up the stairs. This one. Yep, I'm going to have to go down, round, up, back on myself. Okay, so let's go down and go straight on and try not to get seen. Which is, I'm going to have to take a potion. I'm going to have to take a potion at night. I, I can't see a thing. Uh, where's the weak one? Well, it's probably stronger than the ones I've made. Okay. If we can just avoid people. Well, that didn't last long. Let's risk a torch. Tomb of the Enlightened. Right, that's what we didn't want. Let's try this side. Okay, yep, 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 yep. We just need to get our way out of these sewers. Yeah, that little sod leading me right into a trap before. Clever. Oh, please. John Nino's basement. That just brings me back to the sewers. Where's that on my... I want to get over here. If I... If I jump down and take a right, maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll do it. I need to make sure I go the right way. So to my right. Right, come on. Let's see. Oh! Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, where to from here is the question. Commerce District. That's the one we're not sure if we're safe in. Now, we've cleared out some a good chunk of these sewers, but the question is, have they repopulated? Just stay alive, Yonston. Oh. Oh my god, Bryn's Barrel's basement. Now that's probably not... We're in the right... The right jurisdiction now. That's right across from the... Uh, the castle barracks. Could we get out there... Maybe a potion of invisibility? Maybe. But yeah, how we're gonna How we're gonna get across or into there without being seen, I still have no idea. This just brings me back into the other one, I think. Brent's barrels. Yeah, this doesn't help. I think that's... I think we might have to try... We might have to try this. Oh, uh, sounds like goblins. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm not overly worried about goblins. But magicians with far too much electricity on their hands is another matter entirely right was it up this way 
Okay. Right. Right. Deep breath, Johnston. Put the torch out. Yeah, right. Um, just leg it and then get ready to use a potion of invisibility. Right, go. So far, so good. Ah, uh, how quaint. Oh, how good. do you do? It's not everyone. This is where it gets complicated. Um. Uh, we're going to have to use a potion. There's just too many guards around. Okay, let's try the weak one. Go. Uh. Right. In the castle courtyard. Had a little crash there, so... But it's not too bad. Haven't had one in quite some time. Okay, now which way... Which way was... The barracks was this way, wasn't it? Yeah, we had to go through the guards. Okay, Yonston. Oh, God. Don't like the sound of that. Is that coming from down there? Oh, barracks! Okay, okay. Please, please, please. Empty, empty, empty. Okay. No, no. <laughs> That's too good. Okay. This must be it. Informant Lager Gelt has been discovered. He is missing or likely dead. Since the since then, the lack of information about the righteous operations has hampered our, our efforts. Need a new informant as soon as possible. Have Helena select us look into acquiring a new informant. Status pending. Cash is running low. Income flow has been hampered since the heirloom sale went awry. Yes, I'm glad to hear that we were involved in that. We need a source of income as soon as possible. Have Ramonius Ruckus look into our options. Status urgent. April Flowers is back in town. April Flowers. Rather a pretty name. She must have information on Acretia's whereabouts. Acretia, Acretia, that was Brent's wife, wasn't it? Have Argent Galdius contact her. Wait a few days before making contact to make sure the rebels don't realise we have an interest in her. Undoubtedly, she will want some form of payment. Have Argent see if this can be something other than cash. Status active. Begin preparing a team to raid the slums. Food supplies in the event of a new in in the event a new income source cannot be found in time cheeky gits this will be extremely risky we will hold off on the actual raid until there is no choice but have the unit ready in case we need to move quickly did I jump no that's it okay let's take take the bloody book right and let's get the hell out of here quickly was it this way Come on, Yonston. Okay, good. Okay, that guy's not a guard. But we still, ideally, don't want to be seen. I think we may need a potion of invisibility here. Get ready. Yep, yep. Too many guards. Too many guards. Uh, strong potion of invisibility. Done. Right, just leg it. Yonston, we can get out this way. Yep, invisible. All good. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay. No. That's a legion guard. We still don't know whether they're hostile to us or not. So let's be um, a little cautious. And running around dressed all in black is, isn't exactly not going to draw attention to ourselves. So let's uh, quick change of clothing. There we go, and take off the hood and put some shoes on the instant. Done. And we can lose the lockpick as well. Right. Let's just get back to the slums. So far, so good. One guard. Let's hope he doesn't pay any attention. 
No. Ah. Oh. Hello, Saren. Hi there. Oh, if ever the slums has felt like home from home, then this is the time. Right, let's go and see. Oh, let's go and get Fergus. We left him. We left him in the tavern. Fergus. Sure, go ahead. Look, I've got some good news. Come with me and... Uh, good. Shall we go? Yes, I think I've... Well, I'm hoping I've got the logbook for Stylus. Good evening. Sorry for leaving you behind and all, but, you know, it, it really was a one-man job, that one. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Okay. What well, is I, it? I say it was a one-man job, but there were times where I wish I'd had him with me, but I'm not going to tell him that. Okay, let's go find Stylus. The Saint. 36. That's pretty impressive, actually. He's all the way down here. Yep, that's the sewer, so this one. S stylus? Where the hell is Stylus? In here? Strange. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come in, come, just come in. I close the door. Now, mm, reading a man's diary. Should I? Look, we've had our doubts. This could help us decide one way or the other, Fergus. I think we need to read it. Okay. What are you doing? That's not what I wanted to take. With okay. Pleasure, please, go ahead. I'm all yours. Yeah, the torch. Make up your mind on the... No, just leave. Don't just... Oh, God, what am I going to do with him? Okay, Tenth of Rain's Hand. Betrayed. Completely betrayed. What did I do? I acted with honour, that's all. I ignored my desire and love for a woman because she was my brother's wife. Even when she offered herself to me, I did not act as my heart would have preferred. And what did this act of honour get me? The woman I love and who I professed and who professed her love for me lied and betrayed me. My brother, whose honour I was protecting, attacks me with hate in his heart and blood on his mind. My father, who I respected above all others, exiles me from my family. Completely betrayed by all those that I loved and cherished. And worst of all, not one of the people who I loved most would even listen to what I had to say. They did not even consider the possibility that I might be innocent. I am on my own now. No family, no home and no name. I will remember this and I will avenge this. Twelfth of Second Seed. It has been about a month since my father expelled me. I no longer consider it my home or the Varrows my family. I disown them. I spent most of my time living off the land in the countryside outside Windfall. It was hard, but there was plenty of food and plenty of time to ponder the direction of my life. I am no longer a child of privilege and wealth. Now I am a man who is destitute and hungry. Life is hard, but I will not shy away from my faint. No, I will embrace it. I will make the best of my circumstances. All that was really taken away from me was money and the things money can buy. I am still me. I will put my life back together, and when the time is right, I will seek my revenge on the Varro family. First, I need reliable food and shelter. A little cash wouldn't hurt. The Imperial City is the obvious solution to my immediate problems. 8th of mid-year. I arrived in the Imperial City a few weeks ago. Things were difficult when I first got here. I had to resort to common thievery to meet my needs. I could not and would not beg. That was out of the question. Like anything in life, if you do it enough, you start to get better at it. I thought I was pretty good. Then one night, I see a dumber woman fumbling with her coin purse. Assuming it was easy money, I made my move. I'm still not sure what happened. Next thing I knew, I was disarmed. <laughs> you were done. She had a knife to my throat and my coin purse in her other hand. And so I met Alessia. She has taken me under her wing and is helping me to improve my skills. No more dark alley muggins. Alessia is teaching me the finer arts of theft. I could see a future with this woman, if it weren't for the Varrows. I'm not sure I could ever truly love again. Thanks to Alessia's lessons in the art of stealth, I am becoming quite skilled in my new profession. Quite a profitable profession as well. Life could be good, should be good. Right now, I can't fully enjoy it though. I left something unfinished. I'll have to return to Windfall at some point and deal with the Varrows. It is time I began begin thinking of how to deal with them. 24th of mid-year. A few nights ago, Alessia and I were liberating a few trinkets from some ruins when we encountered a magician named Glorvin. It seems Glorvin had exactly the same idea. With weapons at the ready, we had quite the staring contest. Time seemed to pass slowly as everyone considered their options. Eventually, Alessia suggested that a solitary mage was no match for the danger of the ruins. 
To my surprise, Glorvin agreed. Of course, that was when he pulled out his sword and announced that he was no simple mage. And so we continued to stand there, staring at each other. I do not know how long we actually stood there. Whatever it was, it was too long. We heard the rattling of the bones before we actually saw the skeletons. By the sounds, there were plenty of them and they were coming from all directions. Normally, a skeleton is no real danger to any experienced adventurer, but in large numbers, they can be deadly to anyone. It did not even need to be said. We knew we had to put aside our differences and work together. Glorvin immediately released the spell. The skeletons were still in the dark, so I could not see the effect, but I could hear it. There were not nearly as many bones rattling. They sounded like a manageable number now. We stood back to back and faced the onslaught. It was a good battle. I'm glad we did not have to kill Glorvin earlier. He is quite good with his sword and would have done some damage of his own. Once we had dispatched the skeletal threat, we decided to work together. Glorvin will make a good addition to Alessia and I. 27th. Glorvin has been quite an addition to our team. His magic has proven useful a couple of times. The three of us are bonding into a close-knit unit, unlike the Varrows. These are good people. I felt I had no choice but to tell my new friends of my past and my plans. Alessia and Glorvin listened intently as I told the story of my family and my expulsion. Man, this is some diary you like to write, Stylus. I explained that I no longer consider myself Stylus Varro. I am a different person, but I will need to return to Windfall at some point. Alessia spoke first. Considering what you have been through, you are acting like a saint. I would have killed them all. In fact, if you wish to leave the name Stylus behind, behind you, that shall be your name. Glorvin, may I introduce to you the saint? Glorvin agreed. Going by Stylus would be dangerous for everyone, especially if you were to go to Windfall and teach the Varrows a lesson. It was decided. My new friends would stand beside me. We will leave for Windfall in two days. Glorvin will collect the supplies that we need for the trip, while Alessia and I arrange for some de gem dealers to make donations to our cause. <laughs> At least in Windfall, we will be able to steal from people who truly deserve to be robbed. Sixth of Sun's Height. As I gazed upon Windfall for the first time since I was expelled, the feelings of hate and loathing came back. But to my surprise, they were not as strong as I expected them to be. I feel as though I am at a crossroads in my life. I could turn back, not enter the city, and put the past behind me. With Alessia and Glorvin, I could easily make comfortable living elsewhere. We could travel to the far corners of Tamriel. Perhaps that would be the wisest course of action. But I could just leave. But could I just leave? Forget that I have been wronged? If I continue and enter Windfall, someone will die. Of that, there is no question. I am not so vain to think that it could not be me. Brend is an accomplished swordsman, and with years of training and experience, to underestimate him would be folly. Alas, I cannot leave this unfinished. The Varrows must answer for their actions. I will enter Windfall tonight. Thirteenth of Sun's Height. We entered Windfall a week ago under the cover of darkness. We immediately made our way to the slums, that is where I felt we would have our best chance of finding food and shelter, unmolested by Bren's people. We ran into an old friend of mine, Rosalie, Rosalie Tuvert, in the streets outside the Thirsty Peasant. She seemed happy to see me and immediately offered to give us shelter for a few days. As we settled in for the night, Rosalie filled me in on current events in Windfall. Apparently, Brend is running the city since I left, running it into the ground by the sounds of it. That would be just like Brend, using the backs of the peasants to make life easier for his privileged friends. Rosalie also told me that Acretia has disappeared. The little witch deserves whatever happens to her. Bren must be heartbroken. Good. Now he has a small glimpse into what he has done to me. The 14th. More news for Rosalie. The Count, my father, has died. I wonder if he even gave me thought while he was on his deathbed. Perhaps he realised his error. Perhaps not. Now that he's gone, I find that I do not hate him for what he did. But I cannot forgive for it. He is gone now. There is nothing more to do about it. I will need to find Acretia so I can extract my pound of flesh for the trouble she caused that will have to wait I have no idea where to start looking for her and Brent is still here in Windfall although he appears to have his own troubles as well his policies are so disrupted that the peasants are refusing to work the city is not shut down completely some of the commoners are still working but the city cannot function indefinitely without the peasants doing their part Windfall is a commerce town without the peasants the commerce is disrupted without the commerce Brent and his privileged friends have no income Brens never understood that. He and his friends have the finest in life because of the peasants. If they aren't treated fairly, he will lose everything. That might be worse than anything I could do to him. The 19th. I must admit, I do like these protesters. I am sure Brend is beside himself with anger. He doesn't help himself much either. He always manages to do the wrong thing. If this keeps up, he will exact revenge upon himself for me. 
The protesters aren't always the best people either. They are beginning to fight amongst themselves. The violence is getting worse. If this continues, the Legion will use it as an excuse to get involved. 20th. I've just heard the most delicious rumour. Brend doesn't have the family signet ring. Without it, Brend cannot prove the Count named him the heir. I could have just as much claim to govern Windfall as Bren does. Actually, if I had the ring, I could claim the Vara Holdings, including Windfall. That is perhaps the worst thing I could ever do to Bren. Perhaps these pro protesters need a little help, a little guidance to make them more effective. Just enough to keep Bren busy with them and not looking for that ring. Once he finds that ring, Bren will solidify his control of Windfall and end these protests. I may not even need to find the ring myself, as long as Bren doesn't. I think if he knew where it was, he would have gotten it by now. I doubt he knows where the ring is. I need to talk to the peasant's leader. 16th. An orc, of all things. I wish Glorvin had warned me. Had I known the peasant's leader was an orc, I would have brought Alessia to the meeting. Gruff, Gru Gruff Grublock is a nice enough fellow, even fairly intelligent for an orc. Still telling an orc that he is wrong usually results in a certain number of bumps and bruises, no matter how you try to do it. Gruff took it rather well, I think. Only two goblets and one plate came flying across the table. I obviously had his attention, though. This orc is not just out to cause trouble. Well, that's, that's good to know. It seems to me Gruff is seriously trying to help the peasants. I suggested ways that Gruff could improve his effectiveness. For example, instead of robbing each other for food, they should get together and raid the caravan coming in a few days. It should be full of food going out to trade. Instead of fighting with each other, maybe they should get together and harass the town guards who patrol the area. When we were finished, he thanked me for my time and offered to let me consult him from time to time. I'm not sure Gruff quite understood the point of the meeting. If he wants to think he's in charge, let him. 22nd. Life is good. Things could not be going better. It took a little time, but Gruff has come to accept the fact that he is not running the show. I did not totally destroy his ego. He believes he's second in command. This actually works well. Very few people know who I am. They know Gruff is no longer running the show, but they do not know who is. Keeping my identity secret is even more important now. A Legion detachment arrived in town recently. So far, they have not interfered too much. They just patrol the Commerce District to ensure the trade routes stay open. Is this diary ever going to end? It seems as long as we do not interfere with the Empire's trade, the, region, the Legion will not interfere with us. Oddly, the detachment is led by Fracas, the Count's form, former bodyguard. He's up to something. I just don't know what. Otherwise, he would have put an end to this before it becomes a revolt. I know Fracas. He's definitely up to something. I can feel it. Even so, it must be making Brent crazy. He hates having someone watch over his shoulder. In fact, the only thing not working out is finding the Count's ring. I had Gruff send someone to the keep to search for it, but it wasn't there. He's talking about me. Maybe I should have sent Alessia, but I needed her and Glorvin to set up a smuggling operation so I could keep the peasants supplied. Well, sending Alessia wouldn't have made any difference because it wasn't bloody there. They would have given up or probably given up is it would it, they would have given up already if i could not get food and ale into the slums without going through bren's people the city is totally split now bren controls the wealthy section fracas the commerce district and i the slums there is almost no violence anymore the town guards refuse to patrol the slums my guards do not enter the wealthy area the legion soldiers keep the commerce district neutral rumor has it bren is aware that i am trying to take control of the city but he still doesn't know who i am my information says he knows me only as the saint and has no idea where I am or what I look like. He can't take the slums by force. It would ruin the city and the Legion would take control. I can't take the town by force. If I tried to take the town, the Legion's soldiers would join with the town guards and the peasants aren't strong enough to defeat both. It looks like we have a standoff, for now at least. I do not know how this will ultimately end, but it will certainly be a fun trip. Well. Well. Fergus? Uh, come with me. That diary, well, we had our doubts, but after reading that, I think we picked the right side. I think Stylus genuinely is the, the real article. Work, work, work. If we can find him now, where the hell is he? There you are. What are you doing in here? Hi there. A pleasure to speak with you. Look, I have the logbook. Good. The information in that book will be extremely helpful. Let me have a look at it. Here, take this for a job well done. Okay. 250 gold. Thank you, sir. 
find anything interesting? What's this? I have an urgent mission for you as soon as you feel ready. Really? What's the urgent mission? That book you acquired contains several interesting pieces of information. There is one that I am particularly concerned with. It mentions Brenda. It mentions Brenda is looking for Acrecia. Uh, Acrecia? Who? Who's Acrecia? I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, have you not come across the name before? She's Bren's wife, but she wanted me as well. At the time, I could not stoop so low as to betray my brother by bedding with his wife. She never forgave me and stormed off only to make unfounded accusations. Why is Bren still chasing after her? Does she have information that could help the knights? Or does he still not realize the truth? We must find her before he does. It seems there is someone who knows where she is. A woman called April Flowers. April Flowers? No, haven't heard of her either. Find this April Flowers and get that information out of her at whatever cost. My feelings toward my brother have changed. Maybe she would like to come back to me now. Are you really? That's what you're thinking? I don't think it's a good idea, Stylus. I still love her. Oh, no. You should talk to Fergus. Or maybe not talk to Fergus. Look, where's this April Flowers? According to the log, she's staying at the Weary Traveller for the time being. Use caution. One of Bren's lackeys may be watching her. Okay. Fine. April Flowers. Farewell. Farewell. Come on, Fergus. Let's go. Although, yeah. That's, uh... Right. Okay. The weary traveller. Salute. Welcome. Let's go peace and speak to It's you. If ah. she's not obviously there, then Good evening. Hi, Groback. If she's not obviously there, then um Fuck oh, he's gone again. Right, to the weary traveller. Okay, so here we are, the weary traveller. Ah, oh, there you are. And uh, Stylus says just to be on the lookout in case she's being watched. So also, we walked past some Legion guards. Mm -hmm. They don't seem mm -hmm. to have it in for us, so that's good to know. A bit eases the mind just a little. Right, let's see who we've got in here. We know Nehi. We know the two matching dress people we uh what is it hi salute and Evening. that looks like parius my yes. pleasure really okay right fergus let's go and i'm bloody exhausted you know i think we need to um i'm listening hi Frilia. what can i do for you uh well same as always uh, i'm looking for firstly may i interest you in some of my fine wares Yes, give us a few beers there, please. Um, we'll knock some of these back now. That's a good deal. Well, Thank you for your business. A pleasure as always, Frilia. And while we drink these, it's... Uh, look, do you know anything about a woman called April Flowers? I think she's in her room. Downstairs, first door on the right. Downstairs? All this time we've been coming here, you have a downstairs we didn't know about? Feel a little bit put out. Bye. Right. Fergus. Do you want something? Uh, Let's, uh, we'll knock back a couple of these each. Oh, can't drink anymore. <laughs> Two each, that'll do. Okay. Right. That takes a bit of the edge off. Now, let's head yes. down that door over there. How do you do? Looks like the only door that How could lead to a downstairs. Okay. You? Weary I Traveller Basement. What's the news from the other parts of Okay, town? Fergus. Let's, uh... Okay, coast seems clear enough. What have we got? Three doors. And she said first one on the right. Okay. Uh, hello? Hello? Ah. Uh, sorry to intrude. Go ahead, please. I am. Um, I was. Are you April Flowers? Don't smirk. I didn't name myself, you know. But I actually think it's quite a pretty name. So no, I'm. I'm not mocking you. Listen, April. Sorry to intrude, but I've been told that you, 
you know the whereabouts of a certain person by the name of Acretia? I wondered when someone would ask me about her. I suspected there was more than one party interested in her. Fortunately for you, my work is freelance, which means the information goes to the highest bidder, as it usually does. How much, how much do you want? Not money. I want you to do me a service. Oh, no, no. M money's easier. Money just... Many years ago, my mother died. On her deathbed, she told me that she had left a nest egg for me, but I never found it. I've searched for her belongings many times. The only thing I found was a reference to a book. Okay, what book? The book is called Mystery of the Gorvet Diamond. I've sought out many copies, but never found it. Will you investigate it for me? I... I will, I will, yes. Oh, good. I just wish I knew more to help. I do hope you are successful. It would be wonderful to be able to give up this penurious existence. You can hardly call it living. Well, it's not really given me much to go on. I would talk to someone who sells books. I can't imagine it's a copy from a bookstore, as I've been to in, been into them many times. Maybe a general merchant? Perhaps I've missed one. I assume it's here in town, or at least was. Perhaps shoved into some forgotten corner somewhere. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, you April. Too. Fergus... Do we have a copy of that book? Do we? Do it. That, because we, we actually got the Gorvet Diamond. I'm sure I saw a book. Did we pick it up? Do we have it? Did we sell it? Do I have it on me? Okay. No. These, not any of these. These are all the books. No, 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 no. I definitely remember seeing it. What about you? Do you want something from me? Yeah, what have you... What have you... What's mine is yours. I just want to see if you've got a copy of this book. Please, please have it. No. What are you, what are you doing with that? Well, I suppose... Sure, go ahead. Entitled to read if you want to. Okay. Bye-bye. Let's, um... Have a... What time is Cyrodiil it? Is surrounded to the north and east it's 8... 8.35 in the evening. Fergus... Uh -huh. Have you heard any word about the other places? There's... I understand there's no one going to be open now this time of the night, so we might as well... You know what? We haven't had a good drink in a while. It's a bit noisy in here, but... Look, let's get drunk and have a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we'll try and find this book. And I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you're all well, and until next time, take care.